Okay, welcome to another class on the most common phrasal verbs. Please download this book in PDF because it is a free PDF that I am offering as part of this course and it follows the same course. It follows the same chapters. And so if you want more exercises, please download the PDF. It is free. It's on the resources in the first class. Now we're going to look at half of the words on the board right now. These are also very common phrasal verbs. If you don't know these phrasal verbs, you will be confused in some conversations because you will hear them very often. OK, so I want you to understand that if we take a simple phrasal verb like pick something up, look, I picked the pen up, yeah, or something like that. Or I even have here a little sweet fluffy kitten. I picked the kitten up, say hello, and then I put the kitten back down. He's a very happy kitten, so he doesn't mind being picked up and put back down. Um, OK, so they are opposites. Pick something up, put something down. But there are other things you can pick up. You can pick up a language. Yeah, you can pick up Spanish in a few months. You can even pick up a virus, meaning contract a virus. So pick up a mild illness. It's usually mild. You don't pick up something serious, but you can pick up a cold or pick up flu. OK, uh, so you can pick up a language, you can pick up an infection. And this is why phrasal verbs are difficult. Many phrasal verbs have multiple meanings. That's why they are difficult. So we did take off yesterday, take off your hat, take off your T-shirt, take off your coat. And the opposite would be put on your hat, put on your T-shirt, put on your coat, put on your glasses, put on your seatbelt. But I want you to understand that you can take a pen off the table yeah I took a cat off the chair just now but then I put the cat back on the chair notice I can put back in there to mean return put the cat back on the chair and it just means return the cat to the chair and he is he's lovely there now he's very happy so these are opposites as well take something off the table takes take a book off the shelf put a book on the shelf so I want you to learn them in opposites and in groups because it will make this easier. Um, this vocabulary is obviously very difficult, but uh, to learn it by heart, learn them in groups. So you can look after a small child, which means take care of the child. Make sure that he has food and warmth, that he doesn't get lost or something like that. So maybe you look after your little sister when your parents go out. Or maybe you look after somebody's kitten when they go on holiday. That would be good. You can even look after someone's house while they go on holiday. Now, if you have lost your keys or you have lost your phone, I do this very often. You must look for your keys. You must look for your phone. And notice that these two are not separable. We did separable and inseparable phrasal verbs last class. This is separable. Pick it up, put it down, take it off, put it on. These four are all separable, but these are inseparable. Look after her, look after it, yeah? Not look it after, not look her after. Look for it, look for them. My keys, I can't find my keys. Can you help me look for them? So these are inseparable. You will always know if you use this book, which I've told you to download, yeah? You will always know if the phrasal verb is separable or inseparable by where I put the somebody or the something. And that's what SB means, somebody, and STH means something. So look forward to something is inseparable. You need to put the pronoun at the end and you look forward to things which are really exciting. You can look forward to your birthday. You can look forward to Christmas. You can look forward to your holiday. So it means wait impatiently for something exciting to happen. And you will often see this at the end of an email. You'll often see I look forward to hearing. Yeah, it is plus gerund. I look forward to hearing from you. OK, and not to hear because that's a very common mistake. I look forward to hearing from you. And I might add that phrasal verbs that end in to are followed by gerunds and not by infinitives. That might be helpful, uh, useful knowledge. Now, if you want to call somebody later because you're too busy, we say, I will call you back in a few minutes. You can also say, I will get back to you in a few minutes. So get back to somebody is 
a synonym, get back to somebody. Yeah, that's a synonym of call somebody back. It really, it means we contact. It might even be by an email, get back to somebody, but call somebody back is always by phone.